Hi guys, welcome to Just Trying to Help a Sister Out, the video series where I talk to the women about on the minds of men. And if this is your first time around here, welcome. My name is Tito and I make videos on relationship topics and any other topic that, you know, catches my fancy or tickles my fancy. Feel free to check out other videos I've done on this channel when you're done with this one and also subscribe to the channel and give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Now in this video, I want to talk about Linda Ikeji and her recent pregnancy announcement. For those of you who don't know, Linda Ikeji is a famous Nigerian blogger, a multimillionaire, and um, over the weekend, on Sunday to be precise, she announced that she's pregnant. Now, a lot of people, their initial reaction was just to congratulate Linda and say that they're happy for her because after all, people were still caught up in the hype of the royal wedding, which was the day before, Saturday. But then I think Monday rolled around and everyone was, you know, putting the pieces together and things just weren't adding up. And ever since Monday, the internet hasn't been quiet. People have been buzzing and talking about Linda's pregnancy. Now, up to recently, Linda has been single for a very long time. She's been looking for love and, you know, interested in finding someone to start a family with and whatnot. And she said just as much in her birthday videos, I think in 2015 and 2016, um, she said that, you know, she's looking for love, she's keeping herself until she finds the right person, she's being celibate, and, you know, and a lot of people were like, good on you, well done. Now, fast forward to March this year. In March, her sister, Laura Keji, announced that um, Linda is engaged, and, you know, by congratulating her on social media, that was on the 28th of March. Now, fast forward almost two months after which is last Sunday, which was last Sunday, the 20th of May, where Linda herself announces that she's pregnant. And, you know, I guess things just didn't really add up for a lot of her fans and a lot of people that follow her and subscribe to Linda. So here's the thing. Linda has been for a long time or for a, in recent times or in recent years a, an advocate of celibacy and waiting till you find the right person or waiting till marriage before having sex. Um, so for her to be pregnant all of a sudden came to us as a, came to many of her fans as a big shock. And um, I think why people are more, are really bothered about it was about the whole celibacy thing. Uh, like I said, she's been an advocate of celibacy and for her to just announce two months after the an announcement that she was engaged, that she's pregnant, and not just that she's pregnant, she was visibly pregnant. In the picture, she was showing a huge baby bump. Linda herself said that she found out she was pregnant in January. So I, it's just a bit mind-blowing for people that follow her and people that were on the same page with her on the whole celibacy thing and waiting till marriage or waiting till you find the right person. Now, Linda has kind of thrown everyone off now because typically a lot of people think celibacy is waiting till, till marriage, but celibacy, according to Linda and according to a lot of other people, is that you wait till you find the right person, you know, before you start having sex with them. So a lot of people are confused. A lot of people feel deceived, like Linda lied to them for, for a while because apparently she's been in a relationship for a good few months and she's been pregnant since the beginning of the year, and this is May. Now, let me reiterate, um, Linda doesn't owe anybody an explanation as to how she lives her life or the choices she makes or her convictions. But you have to see it from the point of view of her fans and other people who saw Linda as a role model where celibacy is concerned. Um, she was their champion, and, you know, she, she gave the impression that she was living it, that she wasn't just talking about it, but she was living it. And for her to now, you know, all of a sudden announce that she's pregnant and not yet married, you can understand how it sends, you know, shocks down the spines of her fans and people who are with her on this whole celibacy um, thing and the whole advocacy behind it. Now, here's how I feel about the issue. I've learned, especially in recent times, that um, you can't expect people to live by the standards that you set for yourself. I set certain standards for myself, and if other people don't live by those standards, I can't hold it against them. I believe in doing things the conventional way of, you know, um, first comes love, then comes marriage, then comes Linda with a baby carriage. But Linda didn't follow that sequence, and um, hey, I can't hold it against her. She's made her own life decisions. She doesn't owe me or anyone else any explanations. 
So um, while I do not necessarily endorse it, it's really not my place. My opinion is invalid. It's her life, it's her choice, and she can do whatever she wants. She is only held or bound by her convictions and her faith and her relationship with God or whatever led her to, you know, make the decisions she's made. But what I'm more concerned about is who the father of her child is. We're yet to find out who the individual is and who her fiancé is. Imagine if it's not the same person. <gasps> I'm joking, it's probably the same person. I, at least I hope so. Her baby daddy is also the person that she's going to get married to. Um, but I'm also concerned about how the young women that have been on this celibacy drive with her, how they take this news. Let me know, do you think that this means that they won't take the whole issue of celibacy as seriously as they did because Linda now, you know, changed her mind and, you know, a lot of them pretty much just live by what Linda says and does. Do you think that it's going to affect their lifestyles? Let me know in the comment section below. Aside from that, I just wish Linda all the very best. It's great news. She's going to start a new chapter of her life and she seems and looks very, very happy and I wish her nothing but the best. I'm happy for her. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if this is your first time watching one of my videos, like I said, welcome. Feel free to check out my other videos and feel free to subscribe to this YouTube channel as well. All you need to do is just hit the subscribe button, the red subscribe button underneath this video and turn on notifications so that you're notified every time I release a new video. Also remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I think that's all. Feel free to follow me on social media as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Take care.